So hi guys, welcome to another day, another vlog, another video. Today I'm going to be changing the motherboard, just the motherboard, because I've got another motherboard which is in here. And uh, just going to do that today, just going to literally take this one out, put the new one in and uh, do that. Okay, we're just going to do that, I'm just going to swap one motherboard to another. So let's go, let's get and do this, shall we? Undo the case. That should be unplugged. Move to put the screws somewhere safe. I normally keep these way out of the way. All you need is two different types of screwdriver. Literally slightly different ends. That one's probably going to be better than that one. So let's go on and do this. Remove the ram. Take all the um, screws out. There's always one hidden. Quite difficult to get in to get the screws out. All right, that should be, there's one there. All right, then what we do, under all the cables, what I tend to do is move the cables out of the way as much as possible. All the hot, the hot, two hard drives are actually already installed. The uh, CD writer, CD-ROM drive is already pre-installed. Undo those two. It's quite an easy build because you've got quite a bit of room in it. And that pretty much, that is ready to come out. Now it should just pull straight out like that. That motherboard is now out. Right, bear with me, because now I need to swap the processors. So what I will do, is if I put that on there for a minute, I'm trying to do this so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. To take this off, I've got to go into here, undo the screw there. That should remove that drive there. Nice reassuring click. One processor out. The motherboard's come out. Oh, also, remember to take back plate out because the back plates are all individual and they're all unique to each motherboard. But here there, get that out of the way. Click straight in like so. Alright, uh, I've had to go onto their website, download the manual. Basically shows you how to install everything. Recommend get the manual. If you haven't got a manual, recommend getting one. That's the name of this motherboard. So this lead here I've put in myself, I've put that lead in because this case doesn't have a hard drive reader. So again, what we do is reverse. It's nice reassuring. And what we do now is now we now, I've just noticed something, this here is not on that board. So I'm just gonna undo this. I've got another one of those plates somewhere, but I'm gonna nick this one. And all we do on this, is plate that underneath. Doesn't really matter which way round it goes, it will fit whichever way. Probably won't have to remove or fit your one. Um, this is because this has had this has had another fan cooler on here, or it's been taken out to be used for something else when I bought it. Right, so that's now in. There should be enough paste on. There's plenty of paste on that configuration. I have. I always blow down. It's a bit loose. I need to tighten that a bit. Right, so that's tightened up a little bit. That clip over that bit there. That should clip over that. That ain't going anywhere. Right, and all we now do is we reverse what we originally done. Can't remember where the fan can that's there. Right, slightly conf different configuration than the other one. What I tend to do is tuck that in there. Remember the stick of memory that we pulled out? Because that fan cord is quite big. It unfortunately that's not a lot I can do with that. Right, we ha should have plenty of wire to extend because the system thing is here, is here, not there. Right, and all we do is reverse the scenario of what we just done. This can be the tricky bit. Um, it's not normally all slotting nicely because remember I put the, the back plate in. All right, we nearly did have a problem then. The lead for the rear case fan actually went underneath the motherboard as I was trying to place it in. Hence why you don't screw it down straight away. You leave a space uh, and I have just noticed this has two extra holes here and here. So after all that, I've got to remove this slightly and I'm going to have to move that. Sorry if my head's getting in the way or anything as well. And uh, hopefully the audio is okay because the microphone is up there. You shouldn't really put this in without measuring it, but I roughly know it went in. And I'm trying to bring you guys something different as well to YouTube. So as I've got to do this job, board came today, that uh, should be roughly lined up. So next thing to do, put all the screws in. Basically what we do is re we reverse. I don't know if you can see clearly enough. Hopefully that camera's working as well. Because um, I've tried to set two cameras up today as well. So you can see two different directions 
just in case I get in the way of one or you can't see clearly on one I will switch it to the other one um, so that's exactly what I am doing normally a system build doesn't really take me that long I've been building systems for a good few years I wouldn't say many many years and I wouldn't say that I'm really that brilliant at it but I'm okay I can get by so the problem is with systems is you need to tiny little hands to uh, sometimes get this screw or a magnetic screwdriver which I don't think I've got should be one of the easiest screws to put in. Let's try again. And that's it. Right, the next tricky little thing's gonna be, I've gotta get these two into that hole there. And I am hoping I've got enough lead with me. See, so it would be better really if I would, if I put this in first and then put the processor and everything else on the top. Yeah, I do things the silly way around. And that is in. There's a, I don't know if you can see that plug down there. And a, yeah, it's a four way plug and I've had to try and put it in. Right, two minutes guys, battery's gonna go. Hi guys, I'm back, I've just noticed as well. That one, the autofocus wasn't working. I know that autofocus plays up as well. So I don't know whether I've actually got any of what I've just done here. Just a quick recap, screws in. So, so I've taken the other one out, I've put the new one in, um, I've put the new board in, attached this and the processor underneath, connected the cable up, which is the cable that runs that way. Um, I need to tidy all this up. And now I need to continue doing the next little bits and pieces. Right, next thing I'm gonna do this cable here, which that's the ATX cable, which should go straight in. All right, that's in. Now I've got to plug all of these in here, which is your audio. Uh, and this one had to be the other way around, be long enough because it's the other board was the same size. Right, that one's in. Right, now this is where we've got a problem because now I've got to get this, these two. These two here, by the way, are the um, two minutes. Right, they are the USB ports. Um, the problem is I basically uh, cut them. I basically, what I basically done, cable tied them and um, I haven't got any cutters with me. The good thing with cable ties is, if you keep twisting, they will eventually snap. But not these ones. <clears throat> Done. <sighs> that's quite tough, that one. Alright, sorry if that was water focusing again, guys. Alright, so, that's those two on and done. Um, there, here's another... This cable here, I made this. It's basically a bulb or an LED and hard drive LED. I've not got one in the system. So basically I need to know whether this hard drive is flashing and working. So I made one basically, so that's my little handiwork. So I should put that in there for now. That's gonna be tidied up later on, um, but I need to put that in. So then when I put these two in, so this one you have power, right, you have power and reset one on top of the other. The other case, they were side by side. You had power and reset next to each other. So that's those done. And then we've got to do is connect up the hard drives, which is what I'm just about to do. Make sure when you put these in as well, that they go around the right way. You also should have, um, okay, this is weird. This goes one, this looks like one, two, three. So it goes that way around. You can have up to six hard drives. Um, this board as well has got an old piece of tech called an IDE, which is that there. That's quite an old piece of tech. It's quite an old board, but it's got to be better than the one that I'm having issues with at the moment. Right, and then last but not least, we have the hard drive. As I said, hopefully this will come out. I was literally just looking and I realized that it was not actually on focus. So hopefully it will come out. I don't really want to do it all again because I just thought I'd do it whilst uh, you guys were watching, basically. I just thought I'd make a video because it had to be done anyway. And I just thought I would, as always, bring you guys along, show you basically what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, we're getting there. So all I need to do is put this. And then on this one, I have two plugs. Plug one, plug two. That should be in. Check. Make sure all the other leads have not been pushed out. I think it's a little lead. This here, I'm not sure how I'm going to connect this up yet. I might, for now, just cable tie it or leave it down, leave it somewhere. Um, I could push it out the back, so I could. Actually, I could do that, couldn't I, for now? And then just tape it to there, for now. This is not going to be permanent. Um, gets it out of the case, and uh, I can see what, what it's doing. So basically, guys, what we've done today is we've gone from that board in there, like so, taking the processor off, the memory off, the um, graphics card off, which is that one there, graphics card off, and we've basically swapped it to that one. Different board. This one, um, I'm having issues with the BIOS. The BIOS chip, by the way, is, I believe, that one. I could be wrong. I believe the BIOS chip is that one, the P... Oh, no, it's not. It's that one. It's the big one there. That one there is the bias chip, battery bias chip. So hopefully this uh, kicks in and this all works. So all that leaves me to do now is to uh, 
side of the case on. See, there's the LED. Do these screws back up like so. I want to install more memory. I've got more memory to go in this anyway, um, but I want to install more memory. And for now, I might just get some tape and just tape it there. I haven't got any tape with me, but I might just tape it in there for now to do that. Could I do that? I'll find a way of doing it, but I, I definitely want this, maybe put this down here so the whole side flashes or etc. Um, I have got a video as well of the other PC that I've got. I basically installed new memory um, no, I didn't. I installed a new processor in it. Um, I have a video of that. The processor in question failed almost immediately, but I do have a few couple of spare processors laying around that will fit it. So uh, they're, my, they're my kind of backups because I need the PC to do all these editing and stuff. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, liking and subscribing to me. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to leave a sub. Hopefully this is all right. Hopefully the audio is okay. Hopefully you have uh, you can roughly see what I've been doing from either camera. And um, yeah, thank you very much. So hi guys, how are we doing? Um, just a little update on the old uh, PC that's underneath there. Did I get it going straight away? No, I didn't. Um, I had issues with Windows 10. That was the first thing that I had. That I had. Windows 10 was a right pain in the bottom basically to um, install so what I had to do is I was using a pen drive and, I, and I'm using Rufus and I was trying to put Windows 10 onto a pen drive using Rufus and it could have been me I could have had I could have been putting the wrong settings and stuff like that on so basically what I did I managed to managed to figure it out um, plug the old pen drive into the computer which is down there um, bung that in sort of was going fine and then all of a sudden the computer just kept switching itself off as in like zoom no power at all boom, no power and I thought a bit strange why would it be doing that so I then went through my in my head my little list in my head so the first thing I did is I added more memory I put more memory it's now got 32 it's got four sticks in there now it's got 32 gigabytes of course of vengeance memory so I added more memory into it thinking it could be a dodgy memory stick and that's what's throwing it off no nope. again phew, cut out etc so what I then decided to do is I decided to remember I said about the processor having enough paste on it well what I then decided to do I thought well best thing to do is take it off take the processor off reseat sometimes when you reseat the processor it it works out okay so what i ended up doing was basically what i was resetting the processor i've got i should have actually brought it with me the actual compound i got is from um arctic it's the same make as the fan cooler itself it's basically it's like gray stuff and then you just a little blob a couple of little blobs on there put the fan cooler on separates itself keeps it nice and cool job done so I did that so basically I reset the processor put some more put some compound on it just in case there wasn't enough compound on it and yeah basically sit it all down made sure it was all nice and tight tightened it all back up checked all the cables I also had a SATA cable break as well on me it wasn't finding one of the drives that were in there and so I've replaced basically so I've reseat, reseat the processor and put compound on it inserted more memory into it and basically reset the processor and put compound on I think I've just said I've reset the processor and put compound on and um, as you can see it seems to have uh, done the trick the LED light by the way I've actually put inside it's just literally just hanging down if I do that under there I can see it flicking around don't know if this is going to stay like this yet it's just literally I'm just experimenting I'm not sure yet so anyway as I said just a quick five minute update etc of what I did didn't go to plan but as you can see Windows 10 is now in job done thank you very much for watching liking and subscribing to me don't forget to leave a like don't forget to leave a sub and I will catch you in the next video. Not sure when that's going to be, what it's going to be. No idea. Anyway, guys, I'll see you later. Stay safe. Bye.